Good day, folks. Me and Joe Green here, and today we have another episode of Your Take Tuesday. And if I sound a little bit different, it's because I'm using my Turtle Beaches instead of what I usually use, which is my flip video camera. But uh, I think the sound quality on these Turtle Beaches actually isn't too bad, so these should be good for now, and I might just start using these from now on. Um, but I just want to start off this episode before I get into the question by saying that submit questions for next week's episodes uh, and if you want to know like the guidelines and everything you can refer to episode 9 of your take Tuesday but uh, I just want to stress that you guys need to ask them via private message and uh, anybody who asked them in the comments um, don't take it personally I don't have any personal vendetta against you I promise uh, I understand maybe you didn't hear and you didn't know but now you do um, I'm the questions will only be answered if they're asked via private message so uh, just take your question you asked last time make sure you send it via private message I'm a man of my word I guess so I just wanna let you guys know that uh, I really do want them to only be asked via private message because I find it to be a little bit I find it to be easier to keep track of and I feel if someone who genuinely is interested in having their interested in their question being answered would go would take the time to send a private message um but yeah so and it's not it's not any stunt to for views or whatever the heck some people may propagate in their mind uh it's just it's just the way i want it i think it's neater and it really i think gives the people who care a lot about their question being answered a better chance so Without further ado, I only got one question, but that's okay because it's a good one from my friend Captain Volume, aka Eagle Eye McGee. And he asks if you had $5,000 or the regional equivalent, which for um, my European viewers, British viewers, that's probably about $5,000 US dollars, might be around. Hmm. Maybe thirty six, thirty seven hundred pounds, something like that. Um, it's probably closer to about between thirty six and thirty seven hundred imperial pounds. So, uh, but if you had five thousand um, dollars, what kind of car would you buy? And Captain Volume, I'm gonna link his video in the description because he actually he this question uh, he asked because he recently had got himself a car for under that amount of money for four grand he picked himself up a very nice Miata which for those who know anything about cars know that the Miata is one of the finest sports cars because it's affordable it has um, it's probably one of the most cars one of the most connected to the road cars you can buy even to this day and it's just overall a fantastic car and that's why it's the most the top selling uh, sports car in the world but I was recently looking for cars in this price range um, I'm, I always like to look at cars in the price ranges I, I have myself little price range brackets I don't know I just like to look at cars even though I have one already but um, personally as much as tempting and as awesome as a sports car would be like a Miata I would like five seats cuz I want something I can carry stuff in, and uh, something that's a little bit that's pretty practical, and I can carry my friends around and stuff. And for me, the car that I was really, really bent on getting, but I couldn't find one that I really liked, was a uh, Nissan Maxima, preferably from the '95 to '99 era of that generation, um, because uh, I've, I've said it before. Uh, my family and I myself, we've had a very good run with Nissan in our, we've only owned three, or, well actually I guess that's a pretty good number, but my dad's owned three of them. His first Nissan when I was, the one that I, the first car that I remember my dad having was a uh, 1990, I think it was a 9, a 1999 Maxima GXE with the 5 speed. It was white, it was a beautiful car, and uh... I was too young to realize that my dad was driving a uh, stick shift car, 
but he said it was a fun car. They were they're quick, and uh, since it's a Nissan, you know it's reliable too. And uh, personally, that body style for some odd reason I love it. One of the things I've seen in car reviews are like Edmunds.com and other they they comment on the taillights, which they think are odd, but personally i love the taillights on that maxima um i would not want it in a beige color i actually would love it in white i think it looks beautiful in white or black i don't know if you guys have seen this maxima in white but it is it is beautiful and uh you know back to the brand loyalty spiel my dad's also owned a murano which was which was also a great crossover <laughs> and currently my dad got a maxima or not a maxima an ultima Ooh, ouch. Um, currently, my dad got an Ultima, and he drove that for about a year, and then he got a different company car, and now my mom got rid of her Chevy Traverse, which has solidified my disdain for General Motors. Um, it's not that I have a problem with a lot. Of, I still like a fair amount of General Motors cars, and, you know, we're, I'm drifting one right now. I love the GTO basically Holden's. I love the Holden's. I love the Cadillac. The Cadillac CTSV is still probably one of my favorite vehicles of all time. But a lot of their cars, you know, I guess, I don't know. I just don't really, I don't really like the Camaro. I don't know why I don't like the Camaro or the Silverado. Um, the Suburban, the Cruze, the, the Sonic's a decent little car, but for the most part, I just, I don't know. Uh, their muscle cars are nice, but, you know, that's where the rivalry really begins <laughs> when it comes to muscle cars but that's co I just I just completely went off topic but uh, so there's I guess that's my answer if I had five thousand pounds I would or five five thousand dollars I would make the most of that budget and try to find the most the most mint maxima with the five speed I could get uh, preferably in white or black but you know beggars can't be choosers Although I would try to avoid any Maxima in beige because that color is just nasty on that car. But yeah, guys, so remember to answer in the comments. If you had $5,000 or about 36, 3,700 pounds, what kind of car would you buy? Anyway, guys, thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this drifting game play. I'm actually going to upload. I have a lot of drifting good drifting gameplay or i guess good by my standard stockpiled so you should be seeing more up tomorrow so yeah guys uh thanks for watching and have a fantastic day